In this presentation, we feature models of more freight cars from the 1940s to the 1960s. Many of these cars remained in use even into the 1970s. Most of the techniques and ideas used to build these older cars can work well on more modern rolling stock too. In this volume, we will see ways to use low-cost materials to build classic gondolas, a variety of early-style covered hoppers, and some great-looking freight car loads, too. For building construction, we have used a pair of affordable kits that we can build into one larger and very convincing grocery store that works into a smaller town setting from the 1940s to the 1970s. This model is fully lighted inside and out with long life, small, warm white LEDs. To aid in building this store we use animated diagrams and the DVD has a printable documents folder with many diagrams and useful items you can print out to make these models. Another fine model of a walnut processing plant could just as easily serve almond, pecan, or various grain milling duties in the back area of a small city where the branch line track runs. Facilities like these from earlier days are still in use. Full plans are furnished that can be printed with dimensions and a duplicate set for printing out with no dimensions that can be bonded on to the materials needed to be cut for building. All the steps to fabricate this model are from our plans. This uses artist illustration board from any art supply dealer. It makes this basic model very inexpensive. All the interesting details are explained to bring realistic results. Any special materials or detail parts are identified by source and part number. By using basswood and glossy inkjet printer paper, Things like concrete freight platforms and other items are created with realistic effects. The scaled files are available to print in HO scale. Roof details are important and we use techniques to highlight the implementation of these items. A number of small detail parts are made from just bits of scrap material, so when they are painted, they have the right look. Rain downspout drains using scuppers are fabricated and installed to work with a slightly tilted flat roof. Many of these techniques can be used on many other buildings too. We show how to make things like concrete stairs and truck loading pads out of basswood. All the steps are in this video to build the model like this one including the signage. The basic pieces can be built into much larger models and we explore that too. These sections can really make good flat models for scenic backdrops too. Let's look at some inexpensive rolling stock models such as older plastic atherin and model die casting roundhouse models that are easy to improve and we show just how. Building the freight cars from older, inexpensive Atherin Blue Box and model die casting kits are features in this video with guidelines on how to build very rewarding models. The theme here is to adapt some less expensive materials into your plans and expand your tool and technique resources in the process. The techniques are generally useful in building or altering models in any era. Whether you are still building models for a future layout or trying to design a layout with models already built, this might help your ideas move ahead.